Alrighty, y'all. Welcome back to the show. We're looking at a video collection of emergency vehicles again. Now, these are always fun, and uh, I reckon this one's going to be just a little bit different. I think we're going to see some interesting vehicles that, uh, even though we've seen a decent amount of these, uh, from the thumbnail, I gather that some of these are quite different uh, ones I don't recognize. So I'm excited about that. Uh, this is, of course, from uh, Versailles in France. And this is from a channel called Rescue911.eu. Now, we will only use a little bit of this video. So to view the full thing and, uh, of course, check out their channel, which I encourage you to do so, use that link in the description down below. And this was kindly suggested to us uh, by Colonel FP14 on Discord. Awesome suggestions from you lately. So thank you very much. Let's take a look. Yeah, see, right off the bat. Look at the all blues. Crazy blue setup on that. That's a, uh, a Renault, yeah? And I haven't quite seen a model like that in these videos yet. So that's cool. You know what's cool? Is that look like it had a lot of room in the ambulance box part, right? Like, uh, it had a lot of cubic feet. But it was like a relatively compact vehicle. If you, if you look, like some ambulances can be really big and it's like, damn, they got to really uh, lug those around traffic and it can be quite tough. This one looks pretty compact, honestly. So that's kind of cool. Uh, without sacrificing much room, I feel like it's still got a lot of room inside for them to, you know, help uh, transfer someone to the hospital. Look at all the traffic, though. Decent amount of traffic there. Nice camera work. Now, here's a bigger one. Uh, and it's not an ambulance. It's police, I should say. I didn't see who the make was on that. Perhaps. Oh, no, Eveco. I see it on the back. Cool. Okay. That was a pretty heavy-duty one because it looked like it had a dual rear wheel setup. So, uh... Perhaps that's like a one-ton chassis underneath. Okay, so what's interesting is uh these trucks here these are so different right you wouldn't see this in the u.s it's like a transit van or a euro van as we call them here in the u.s we do have euro vans uh and transit vans but we don't have this configuration at least that i know of uh usually you would see it you know like more of an american style truck with this kind of uh, utility flatbed with the walls you know type of attachment uh so that's kind of interesting seeing that on the transit van uh, and then, you know, yeah, you can see the utility bed here. So that's kind of interesting, right? Just seeing those. I'm seeing a lot of those. And, you know, like the stereotype says, I mean, stereotypes are always kind of, you know, a little goofy, right? But, yeah, there is definitely a lot of wagons and hatchbacks in traffic. <laughs> more so than you'd see here. Now, I, I think hatchbacks are more popular in the U.S. than people think. There's quite a lot of them here, but... Not maybe on this level. <laughs> look at that. Those look so good at night. I got to say, a lot of these vehicles in the EU are, are effective. The sirens may sound a little weird to me, but they're definitely effective. They're more directionally effective. You guys have pointed out in comments, which I think is impressive because, in other words, you can hear them from all directions and you can kind of more tell what direction it's coming from. Whereas I do admit here, sirens are definitely loud and I would say mostly effective here in the U.S. Uh, but one problem, if I could nitpick, is sometimes the sirens are loud in a way where you can't tell where they're coming from. I've literally heard a fire truck coming in traffic and I'm like, I, I literally don't know if he's behind me. Is he coming from the side and I can't see him yet? You don't know. And then they get really close and you're like, oh, he was behind me. It sounded like he was over there. Like, So that's one thing I'll admit seems to be interesting about a lot of different sirens throughout the EU. Whoa, what is this? An unmarked unit? Whoa. That siren was coming from that car? What? That's cool. So yeah, as you know, I'm like a police car aficionado. I love like learning about police cars. And I think there's they're so interesting just here in the U.S., that's what, you know, has got me interested is there's so many different, you know, interesting configurations and ways to do them. And undercover units are interesting because, uh, you know, they're totally unmarked. They have an SAP package, like street appearance package, and uh, they can look like 
a regular car in traffic, but then they have these hidden lights everywhere. They'll have sirens. Uh, that was cool to see an EU version of that. Not gonna lie. That's pretty neat. He would fool people because that one was hard to spot. This is cool, this SUV. Is that one of those, um... Oh, I can't tell what it is. Definitely not a Land Rover. I think that's a Mitsubishi, yeah? We don't really get those here. We used to get, like, the Mitsubishi... I can't remember what they're called. Sort of one like that, but I'm talking long ago. Like, I think they stopped selling here in, like, the early thousands. And, uh, yeah, we just don't get Mitsubishi SUVs like this anymore. That's really interesting. That's kind of a... I'm assuming that's some sort of police car or maybe emergency transport or something. I'm not sure. It's a great video for comments. If you want to correct me or, or educate me on some of these things. All right, look at this. Oh, nice. Nice Mercedes. You know what? I got to hear that again. Oh, that sounds great. You gotta love the full-size Mercedes trucks. They're just, you can't go wrong with them. They're so badass. They make a great fire truck, too. That is cool. That one's uh, actually a, quite a compact one, right? Uh, so that's interesting to see. Usually the ones I've seen were much bigger than that in these videos, but that one's really cool. Got the hoses in back. Had a great sound. I love the nighttime shots. There's a police car. Appears to be a Ford. Um, is that like a Ford? That looks too big to be a focus wagon. Although it might be. That almost looks like uh, here in the U.S. it's called a Ford Fusion, which would be the one above the focus. So it's like a midsize car. Uh, although we don't have a wagon version. We only have a sedan version. So that's interesting. But I bet it's called something else. I think the Ford Fusion here would be called something else overseas. I don't know what. Oh, there's a Fiat. Look at the light bars on that. It's kind of old, older style. <laughs> the little that little horn they were using. Oh, look at this. We have another unmarked unit. Just the old, uh, oh, I can't remember the name of these. There used to be a name for these, like slang, you know, term for ones that you just slap on the roof and it's got the little rotating light. Oh, that's that's crazy. Look at that one, too. Look at these cars. They totally blend in. You would never know those are police vehicles, which is the point, right? <laughs> it's the point of a unmarked or undercover car. That's really cool. Wow. And this is an interesting looking uh, Renault van. They're very unique, you know, with their grill design. They always incorporate that logo in there. Or no, 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 no. Correction. Whoa, it's early in the morning. Wake up, Ian. <laughs> That's not Renault. That is Citroen. That is Citroen. Oh, my God. There's a Peugeot. See, I know what I'm talking about. There's a Renault, the little white car. That's a Citroen, okay? I got it. <laughs> I almost, almost made a mistake there. But, uh, no, that's cool. I like the livery. And they always do the back really, like, highlighter stripes. Like, look at me. Don't don't miss me. Don't hit me. <laughs> Which I've noticed a lot of U.S. vehicles, emergency vehicles, have that too. Whereas, I, at least around me, they didn't used to. So, I think we've slowly adopted that style of... Uh, high-vis stripes on our vehicles as well, especially on the back. Ooh, there's an Aston Martin in traffic. Wow. So, uh, look, I don't know much about cities in France, uh, you know, metrics and stuff. Uh, I know Paris is big, and uh, Versailles seems pretty busy as well. I mean, lots of traffic in these clips. Looks like a pretty place. Don't get me wrong there. But pretty busy. Wow, that, was, that looked like an... I'm going to assume that's an older police van there. Definitely looks like an older body style. And uh, it's even got some old-fashioned sirens. Or uh, lights, I should say.
Anywho, we're going to end it there. So uh, we skipped around a lot. If you want to watch this whole video, make sure to use that link in the description down below and check them out. Uh, that was a great suggestion. Uh, the goal was to always learn about different vehicles, see different vehicles and, uh, you know, in different settings. And this one really did that. This had some very different examples of uh, various emergency vehicles. I like seeing the different ambulances uh, quite, uh, you know, smaller than the ones I've seen before. Of course, seeing that Mercedes fire truck is always fun. Those are awesome. That one was also more compact than usual. And then seeing those undercover police cars, uh, these unassuming, you know, gray hatchbacks that you wouldn't know are police cars. I thought that was pretty cool as well. Because like with the U.S. undercover cars, most people wouldn't notice, but if, unless you're like a super car freak like I am, uh, they, they're they still pretty easy to spot for me. For one, on the undercover um, U.S. police cars, you know, they're going to be the same models as normal police cars, you know, for the most part. Some departments get really sneaky, but for the most part, they're going to be Ford Explorers. They're going to be Dodge Chargers. Uh, you know, they might even be Chevy Tahoes or Chevy Suburbans. Uh, but the, the undercover cars... Uh, versus a regular civilian version of the car still stands out. So even if they've the street appearance package where it has regular paint, it has maybe even regular rims, not police steelies, uh, you're still going to see, A, you might, if you look through the windows, you might be able to see some sort of lights. Uh, but B, the more obvious one is you'll see antennas. You'll see like an antenna on the car somewhere that's not like a stock one. Also, little things like exhaust, like the regular Ford Explorers for civilian use have like fancy looking exhaust. And the police Explorers have like just more kind of utilitarian, like generic looking, you know, dual exhaust that come out the bottom and they angle down. And you can see those on an Explorer with a street appearance package that's undercover. It's supposed to look like a street one, but then you can see the antenna and you can see that different looking exhaust. And it's like, oh, that's an undercover cop. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of fun. I, I always think it's fun looking at those and seeing, you know, how sneaky they are or if there's little clues that give a hint to, oh, that might be a police car. Anyway, I would love to hear your comments on this. These are always fun. Thank you for the great suggestion. Keep them coming. Please throw a like on there if you did enjoy yourself and uh, subscribe to be part of this amazing community we do have here. My name is Ian. You watch the IW Rocker. And until next time, y'all, catch you later.